Okay, so welcome to our belt and disc sander. Okay, the primary purpose of the disc sander would be to uh, sand some outside edges. Okay, the primary purpose of our belt sander would be to sand some flat edges. Okay, so if you have a flat edge, for example, if I had this piece of wood and if I need to sand this edge of the wood, I would use my belt sander to do so. Okay, a couple things about the disc sander to start. First of all, this disc is going to spin from right to left, okay? You never want to sand on the right-hand side of the disc sander. Reason being, if you do so, your piece of wood is going to fly up, okay? You want to stay on the left-hand side of the disc sander. You also cannot sand anything that's more than half the size of our disc, okay? So if you had a piece of wood like this and you put it in the center, your wood's going to fly up because it's going to catch this side. Okay, right now our disc is pretty worn down. I'm going to get a replacement soon. But if you ever notice that there's a lot of wear marks like this on the disc sander, let me know. Okay, so we can change it out. Um, the belt on the belt sander still looks pretty good. And then later on I'm going to show you what the oscillating spindle sander looks like. But once again, inspect your machine. Make sure it looks good. What I can tell you is that all three of our power sanders take off a ton of material at once. Okay, so if you have a little bit of work to sand, I would not recommend these machines. Okay, instead grab one of the palm sanders or do a, some hand sanding by hand. Okay, because I can tell you right now, if you have a little bit to sand on a line, and if you use one of these machines, you're going to go past your line within seconds. Okay, so we're only using these machines to take off a significant amount of material. Okay, they're going to take off a lot of material and they're going to take it off quickly. Okay. So we're going to start off with the disc sander. All right. The primary purpose of the disc sander would be to stand some outside edges. Okay. Some outside edges. The oscillating spindle sander, which I'll show you in a couple minutes, is going to be for inside edges or curves. And then, like I said, the belt sander is going to be for straight edges. Okay. So first of all, we have a couple things here. We have our dust collector at the very bottom of our sander and then we also have a power button when you hit the power button it's going to power up both the belt and the disc sander i would really prefer if only one person is using this machine at once can two people people be using it at once absolutely but it's not going to work as efficiently as if one person's using it okay so a couple of the rules make sure that the machine is at its full speed before you start using it Secondly, make sure your fingers are about an inch away from any of the sanders because I can tell you right now, although this machine doesn't look very dangerous because it doesn't have blades, it's actually one of the more dangerous machines because it will take off parts of your skin within seconds, okay, if you touch it, all right? So you've got to be very careful with these machines because like I said, if it could rapidly take off wood, it could rapidly take off skin on your fingers, okay? So keep them about an inch away. Keep them nice and flat on the table okay or against the table up here all right you want to keep your wood pieces flat if you curve them you have a chance for the wood to kick back okay if you try and lift it up the wood could kick back as well so keep them nice and flat on your table and you also want to kind of put them in very lightly push it in lightly okay and kind of do like a right to left movement okay if you prefer left to right that's fine but i prefer right to left okay you want to keep the piece moving because if you leave it right in the center Okay, or leave it on a piece of wood for a while, it's going to burn it. Okay, it's going to put a burn mark on there. And you want to try and avoid burn marks because then you just have to sand them. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my dust collection system. And then I'm also going to start up my sander. Okay, so I'm going to be sanding the outside edge. like so. Okay, now I have a nice smoother edge. I want to stand the edge of this, so I'm going to put it against the fence and move from right to left or left to right, whatever you prefer. Do not just leave it in the center here. That's how the sandpaper is going to wear it down very easily and it's also going to cause burn marks on your wood. Okay? I want to turn off the sander, wait for it to come to a complete stop. And I also want to turn off my dust collection machine. 
Okay, sorry if I'm not in the picture right now. Lastly, I want to show the oscillating spindle sander. Okay, so here's our oscillating spindle sander. Once again, I said that the purpose of this, the really good purpose of this is to use it for inside curves. Okay, if you notice, there's a pretty big gap here. So if you're using a smaller piece, I would not use this machine because you have a potential for your piece to fall into that gap. If your piece does fall into the gap, please don't try and grab it with your hands. Instead, turn the machine off, wait for it to completely stop, then grab it. Okay? There's a bunch of different types of spindles. Depending on the size of your project, you might have to change out the spindles. And if you do need to do so, let me know so I can show you the way to do that. Okay? So I have my wood stock. Once again, I have nothing hanging or dangling from my neck. My sleeves are rolled up, and I'm good to go here. This one does not have any type of um, dust collection just yet. Okay, we're looking at maybe putting one on eventually, but this one does not, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this machine on. The oscillating spindle sander is gonna not only rotate, but it also moves up and down. And once again, I'm gonna go from left to right or right to left, whichever you prefer. Okay. Once again, it's taking off a lot of material at once. I need to keep this nice and flat against the, the uh, platform. I'm not up in the air like this trying to do this. This would be dangerous. I'm flat against it, and I'm moving my piece constantly from right to left or left to right. Okay, don't just jam it on there. Once again, you're going to mess up not only the sandpaper, but else you're going to mess up your piece. Okay? Upon completion of using either machine, please make sure that you do your part and sweep your dust into the container and you also sweep the area of your floor, okay? Once again, if you have questions, please feel free to contact myself, Ms. Hudson, or Mr. Frank.